Hey everyone, Jessica Kubasi here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a very simple portrait edit. And hopefully this is going to be easy for beginners and just anyone who wants to do a very simple retouch. This is the after for the photo and this is before. So hopefully we will get something just like this and it's very easy to do. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply the frequency separation technique. And this is basically a technique for retouching. I have a bunch of videos on this. Um, I'm going to apply an action because I just want to make it pretty simple for myself. You could apply the layers by themselves, but having an action is just so much easier. You press play and it sets up the layers for you. So the first thing that we're going to do is fix the skin, make it nice and smooth. As you can see now, if I turn off the texture layer, you can see that the skin, um, it's not blended. So basically, we just want to blend the skin. You know, if you were to see a gradient, you basically, it's like, it's like gradient skin. So the first thing that I'm going to do is press Command J, duplicate that skin uh, layer. I'm gonna, the actions, yeah, you gotta go. Just shut that down. Actions was like, I need some attention. I'm like, mm -mm, your time is up. So um, after I duplicated the skin layer, I'm going to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. Now, this is really up to you. This part, you can have fun. I don't know how crazy everyone is, but just make sure you don't do something like this. Like, don't go too crazy. Just look and see where the colors start to blend. If you can see the colors are all blending in smoothly, then you're kind of in a good spot. So this looks pretty good to me. Just press OK. Now, what you want to do is turn that texture layer back on. And as you can see, this it looks like a really bad retouch from like the 1990s. Um, it's, but we're going to fix it, guys. Don't worry. Um, the first thing that you want to do is that skin copy layer that you just added that blur to. Go to the mask button right here and click that. We're just going to make a quick mask so we can select out parts that we don't want. So press Command I and it's going to invert this mask. Now it's going to make it a lot easier for us to just paint back in that skin. Now my opacity is at 88% and the, my brush hardness is at zero. I'm using a default round brush. Basically what I'm going to do now is just, this is the fun part, you just color in. Just color, and you, I'm using a white color, by the way, because my mask is black. And if you are confused with masks, I have a video on that. Um, this is where I have my fun. Again, I'm just coloring in. Do not color in defined lines like the nose, area, lips. Don't do this. It looks just weird. It looks smeary. So, again, just paint over the skin area very lightly. Don't go too crazy. And then the neck area, I don't know how crazy people are about necks, but then the hand, you know, we love you. So here you go. You're nice and smooth now. I mean, look at what it did already. Did I even, was that even a lot of work? It really, <laughs> really wasn't. Um, would I recommend this technique if you are presenting this to a professional retouching job? Probably not, but it's simple. It's effective, I think. I don't normally do this technique, by the way, but it's just it's very simple. Look at the difference that that made, and it's still retaining the skin texture, which is what I like. So you can drop down the opacity if you do want to make it a little bit more realistic, but you know, whatever, you know, we're fake anyway, so we'll just put it up to 100. Just embrace, embrace it. Embrace the fakeness. I mean, her skin was really good before, but you know, we're just smoothing it out. So I'm actually done with the skin right now. I think it looks pretty good. The next thing that I want to fix is just that lipstick. And what I'm going to do is make a new layer called lipstick. And I'm zooming in. And I'm sampling a color close to her lip color already. And an important thing is to make sure that the brush hardness is about 72%. And you can keep the opacity at about 88. So what I'm doing now is just coloring in. So you're just basically tracing the lip that's already there. And again, if you were a, a coloring en enthusiast, you're gonna love this. 
going to feel like you're back in the third grade. We're going to go from normal to multiply. And now you can really see it a little better and you can just fix the outer areas a little. Okay, and then I'm going to lower the opacity of this, and I'm going to duplicate this layer, and then change it from multiply to overlay. And I think that looks pretty good. Again, we just overlaid that, and I lowered the opacity on the multiply layer, layer again, just so it can blend in a little bit better. So I'm liking the way that that looks. If you want to add a little bit of shadow, just make another layer, and I'm gonna name this shadow. And using a black color, change your layer setting from normal to soft light. And then you can, oh, okay. Make sure the hardness is at 0% and your opacity, let's do 10%. And just very softly go over some of that, some of the edges of the lip so that it blends in a little bit better so that it gives it like a little bit of a dimension, basically. And I'm gonna lower that. I lower everything, I put it at like zero and I lower it to like negative one. So it just added a little bit of shadow. So the very last step is we're going to enhance the eyes. So make another new layer and name it eyes. And we're gonna do this all on one layer. Okay, don't quote me on that because I need more than one layer. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure my colors are black and white, go from normal, to overlay, you can keep your opacity at 10%. And with a small brush, a round brush, again, 0% hardness, just go over the inside of the eye. One tip is you do not want to do this. Color in the white area and make it even more white. You just don't wanna do that. So again, just the inside of the eye. And then switch to black. And then the outer part of the eye just define it a little bit. Again, we don't want it too much, and then do the inside as well. Color in that inside. And we want it very subtle. Again, we're at, and I, I upped it up to 22% just so I can add in a little bit more. But very subtle. And then on that same layer, go ahead and enhance the eyeshadow, or you know, if your model has eyeshadow, it's, it's a great tool to use. Uh, go over with the white to highlight, and then the black to darken. So again, I'm just using that white brush. My layer is set to overlay, and any darker areas, I'm making them darker by using that black brush. I'm switching by pressing the X, the X key on my keyboard. And if you want it darker, you can just higher the opacity. And you can add it as well to the eyebrows if you want to darken up her eyebrows. So let me show you the before and after for the eyes. And again, that's just on one layer. And you can always lower the opacity if you don't want it too much. Now, the very last thing that we're going to do is sharpen up the eyes. So what you want to do is press Command, Alt, Shift, and E all at the same time. And that took me a while to memorize that. Don't, don't ask. I, yeah, I have memory issues. So go over to the Sharpen tool. And the strength is at 22%. And I'm just slightly going over her eyes. Not, not too much. And the very last thing is we're gonna tie this all up by going to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. Because you guys know I love curves. And just adding a very small curve. I should be like the curve ambassador. You should do that. They should, that should be a thing. I think that, that looks pretty good to me. And, I mean, there it is, honestly, really not much to it. Uh, let me show you guys the before and after. 
this is before, and that's after, and I think that was pretty simple, honestly. Again, before and after. One very last step, I know I keep saying last step, but if you do want to add in some extra sharpness to this photo, duplicate your layer, go to filter, other, high pass, and the radius could be like 5.8. As long as you can see some of those defining characteristics, press OK. Go from normal to soft light. But that just enhances the picture a little bit more. Again, that's a before, that's an after. Thank you guys so much for watching.